Hello. I uh, hope everybody's doing well today. What the fuck is my mic? Give me a second, guys. Yeah, fuck. There we go. Give me a second. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, I'm excited for this one. Oh, oh, there we go. I thought the things at the bottom were not loading for a second there. Um, hope everybody's doing well today. I've decided that today is going to be the start of... Well, now that I finished Xenoblade Chronicles and uh, Epic Battle Fantasy, like the next two are going to be this game, and I was considering West of Loathing, but the new Pokemon Arceus game is coming out soon, and I'm and I did, or I did get a pre-order from that from my dad, so I'm just waiting not for that to arrive. But I'm excited. Anyways, uh, so I have played this game before, or not, no, sorry, I haven't played this game before. I've seen countless videos on it from, like, RT Games, and I want to say his name is Slicer7, Zed Slyer7, or something like that. Um, but I've never actually played it, so I haven't actually seen, like, the full content of the game. Anyways. There's three of them. I don't know if there's... Oh yeah, it's just the three. Okay. Episode one, the first turnabout. Dead. Damn it. Why me? You can't get caught. Not like this. I've got to find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. August 3, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Hey, Sphix, how's it going? Yeah, we got some uh, Acer for me going on. Boy, am I nervous. Hey. Right. I'm not doing different voices for everybody. I, you, everybody knows I'm not that kind of person. Anyway, Sphix, how's it going? Does my... Has, has stream court not gone off? My day has been absolute shit, but I'm doing good. Oh, dude. I'm glad it's going well, but... You, you, are you okay? Oh, there, there's stream court, finally. Oh. Ooh, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought I thought I thought this was just small claims court. Ah, oh, shit. Just that grandparents' house. Ah, okay. Uh, no, I was going general. General Pogs, fix Pogs, both of you are Pog. It says a lot about you. And your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. It's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Phenol Pog, Phoenix Pog. Everything is Pog! Anyway, uh, General, how's it going? Well, that's news to me. 
I want to help him out any way I can. It's just, I really want to help him. I owe him that much. Dude, I'm so excited for this. I am too. I, I've, I like I've said, I like, I don't think anyone was here yet, but I said, I did watch RT Games play this, and I did watch uh, Zed Slayer 7 or something. I don't know his name. I've seen like snippets of gameplay, but nothing like too spoilery. And, and also, I'm, I'm doing decent, but my my left knee hurts to fuck. I I was moving some stuff today, and uh, took a couch straight to the knee. Hugh Hugh Skyrim meme, but yeah. Also, I'll sell your house going. I can't wait for the backstory just so I can spam Kaka. What? Artie's von Karma's voice haunts me. <laughs> it's over. My life, everything, it's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? No, it's some deranged dude. Death, despair, ah, oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. It sounds like he wants to die. Boop. Medical badge. Hello, Ali. How's it going? I used to be streamer once that I took a couch to the knee. Yeah, I know, General. I know. I mean, let's got free pizza today. Yeah. Nick. Hey, hey there, Larry. Ha! His name is Ass. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I... I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world, in a world without her. I can't. All my plans are kind of falling apart for today, which sucks, but whatevs, I guess. What kind of plans were you trying to do? And I think you're going to want to chop off more booba. Uh, no. Let's 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 not chop off Booba. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. She's gonna hate April. Oh no. Ellie stole from me. Also, pause check, thank you. Oh, what did Ellie steal from me, Gino? Yeah. Uh, April will be Ellie's arch nemesis. <laughs> also, artist in, in here. Why why is everybody coming in here for this? Only staying for a bit, but hey, hey. <laughs> What's up, Blue? What's up, Cheeto, as well? Who who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Aw, uh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? To be honest, I've always been uncomfortable with, like, having the pet name between, like, couple, or, like, S.O. Uh, baby. I always hated that. Wait, I'm in the background. Wait, can you guys see my mouse? I'm on I'm on his shoulder. Can you guys see my mouse? No? Fuck. Okay, I was gonna I was gonna do some pointing. Give me a second. Properties. Capture. Hopefully now. Let's let's see. I'm on his shoulder. Please do not date the baby. Yeah. <laughs> Ali stole a goat. Oh, I see. 1,000 pancakes. I'm curious. Anyways. Pick. Pick, pick. Awesome. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspapers say it was you. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Oh god, she's dead. <laughs> well, I went to Owens and he mentioned watching movies, but in the last second I ended up having to go because because of whatever. And also yesterday my IRL friends were planning on playing games today, but it seems like that's falling apart now too. So I'm just in a pissy mood. Understandably so. I hate it when plans f like fall apart. I try my best not to like flake on things with other people. Because literally nothing in my life can go to plan. I, that's unfortunately that's just life. But you just gotta you just gotta make do with the best of what you got, and enjoy your time. 
Lurk oily hands. Okie doke, soldier. Imagine planning shit. <laughs> I, th I think that's I think it's almost worse than fl uh maybe not worse than flaking. Ah uh, whatever. The young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. Harry ass. <laughs> My best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the ass. <laughs> Can't be disappointed if you have no hopes. Uh, true. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself into trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone, he's a good guy at heart. And that I owe him one. Which is why I took the case to clear his name. That's what I just, and that's just what I'm going to do. August 3, 10 o'clock a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. Court is now in the trial. Is court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Harry Ass. Pros the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Man, I wish the charge of arson of 1995 on my name was an accident. Excuse me, Sphix. The fuck are you doing? The, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. Ahem. Mr. Wright? This is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Do you have a nickname? Do you have a bunch of nicknames for everyone? No? I just... I saw a button and I was just thinking, ASS! down my country. Cheeto, Cheeto, you're from Arsenland. Stop that. You can't pin the blame on Sphix. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Sphix was physically incapable of arson. Are you sure about that? It's Sphix. Hello world, how's everyone doing today? I can't stay today because I'm already late and I'm tired with all the programming, but I've almost finished one of my big projects. Hell yeah, dude. I'm, I'm curious to see like how the like the finishing touch is going in. What I said it was. So Sphix is a time traveler. I'm fully capable of accidental arson. I'm okay, I can just spontaneously combust. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Hands shaking, eyesight fading. Well, he's dead. <laughs> I'm an actual accident in Florida. Do be fucking hot. <laughs> Adrian, thank you. The judge is a little bitch. Yeah. It's called uh, it's called accidental now. Probs I'm not the only one who needs rest. <laughs> Old judge is better than blonde judge. I guess I'll get to that point eventually. Th the test will consist of a s few simple questions. Answer them clearly and consistently. Uh, state the name of the defendants in this case. I don't see ass on this list. Blonde Judge is only game three. Well, don't, don't spoil things. I'm stealing taxing one of your items in your house. Nice. <laughs> Defendant? Well, that's Larry Bots, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. I mean, what's the victim's name? Glad I read the case report over cover 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 so many times. It's wait. Uh oh. No, no way I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name. 
That's kept because I put all my garbage in your house. Jokes and you have to live on a reservation where taxes mean nothing. Life hack, go into debt and own nothing. <laughs> Just go bankrupt. It's fine. <laughs> oh, the victim. Of course I know the victim's name. I, um, I just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab to check on it anytime. Cindy. What a fucking weird haircut. Another hydrant, thank you. <laughs> life hack, hack the life. Beep boop beep, you are now mine. So, victim in this case, model lived by an apartment by herself. Okay then. Winston Payne. Prosecutor for this case, lacks presence. <laughs> lacks presence. Generally bad at getting his points across. Okay. Mia, my boss, very good defense attorney. Likeable guy is been my, okay. Uh, is, okay. Cindy D's nuts. Please don't pull a den and use your badge at every chance you get. Okay. Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Cinder Pollock. <laughs> um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now, tell me, what was the cause of the death? She died because she was... Blood trauma. <laughs> I'm gonna name my kid Cinderblock. <laughs> so fucking redneck. <laughs> it's even... <laughs> it's even worse if you think about propping <laughs> up something with a cinder block. <laughs> Final, have you ever seen this game? Yes, I have. <laughs> Martha, Martha, please put cinder block underneath the the trailer. <laughs> oh, final, why are you fast with me? Just because I am. I, 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 I'm I naturally fast at some things. A bag of rocks is more useful than, than a little cinder block. Automa <laughs> does not like redneck. Yeah. <laughs> she was struck once with my blunt objects. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we should proceed. Seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thanks, Judge. I like him. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then. First, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. What was <laughs> the blunt object of Sister Black? <laughs> Just hit her with herself. <laughs> oh, I haven't even started the game truly. Is this right? Just told us the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim, I think. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Rather heavy. Okay. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence that added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use tab to check the court record frequently. No. I'm gonna do it now. It's not letting me do it now. Okay, good. Now just check. I can't believe we decided to focus on cinder block of all things. <laughs> uh, I mean, actually thinking about it, wouldn't it would have been a suicide? Would it have been? So it looks like someone who's constipated to be H. 
Hold on, I need... I need to do something. Give me a second. I need to grab something. Fuck, it's a fucking work, please. All right, now I do this. Add image. Browse, downloads. Oh, that didn't fucking work, but whatever. hell <laughs> all right all right <laughs> i shit myself <laughs> we thought we weren't gonna ship post on a with a what's wrong yeah this is pain the prosecution may call its first witness the prosecution calls the defendant mr butts to the stand um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. <laughs> I think about my dry shits. <laughs> I think about Taco Bell every day. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, this is going to be a long playthrough. You get your chance to respond to the prosecution letter later, so be ready. <laughs> Final, please actually progress. I'm trying. I just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Also, apparently I'm dropping frame, so I, I apologize. The pose you take after crapping your pants. <laughs> well, what do I do now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this could be bad. Ahem. Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Antony. Um, didn't they all die? I guess. I wasn't dumb, she just wasn't taking my phone phone calls or seeing me ever. Beer be getting soda. Okie doke. What's it to you anyways? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what mean what we mean by dumb. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned overseas with one of them the day before the murderer. What do you mean one of them? Oh. That that that's so sad. Lies. All of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Venus. Welcome back, Svix. Oh, and also, if anybody needs, I'd suggest refreshing now. The victim apparently arrived home on Paris... That is July 30th, the day before the murder. Hmm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Welcome back, Raxus. Why are you sad emoting? 
Did I miss you? Rax pissed himself confirmed. That's fuck. That's fucked up. <laughs> you okay, Rax, though? Indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a was a model, but she didn't but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Why is the first word I see piss? Because it's my chat, Gumbo. Welcome. How's it going, man? Daddies? Sugar? Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. Mod bullying chatter. Uh, we made stuff because I'm sad. Sad emotings for poor, for Larry's poor life. Ah, that makes sense. Anyways, Rax, how's it going? We made seven shit jokes and it has been ten minutes. <laughs> yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took the money and used it to support her lifestyle. We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah. Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I... Stop him from answering. Fuck you, ass. We went from laughing about a fucking cinder block to laughing about pant shitting. Yeah, yeah. Also, my stream delay is terribly high, so I won't be chatting, but, but I am enjoying the stream. Thanks, Max. Feel free to message whenever, and I'll and I'll I'll, I'll, I'll answer you, and you, I guess you'll just have to wait for the reply. Or you can just refresh. If you're on mobile, just close the stream and reopen it. I'll still only think of the spicy cry chips. Oh, no. Have him answer it? I wish. I, I wish I just went back. Has, has no idea that the victim was seeing other men. That question of it is irrelevant to this case. Oof. Yeah, shut up, pain. Bingus. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheat and she died. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say you're 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 I got a Canadian question. What is the highest mountain in the country? Mount Logan. The chips are what she's flavored. Takis are for the weak. <laughs> I believe the accused motives was clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? <clears throat> well, did you or did you not? Heh, <laughs> Well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Uh oh, he went. What do I do? Have him answer... Honestly? I know, I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. Er, yeah. I was there, I was there, I went. What the hell was that like? <laughs> what was that? What was that sign language? Order. Well, Mr. Butts? Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man, so, like, I didn't see her. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? The, gosh, you, the, the prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove to Mr. Butts... Who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Maybe we can do spicy pain later? Guys, please be careful. They only have, like, five pose in this game? Yeah. I, I just... That's that's the three they picked. <laughs> Procrastination would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Final, I will fight God and you cannot stop me. Sure. <laughs> go, go right ahead. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> If I had, like, a soundproof room, I would have made a full-on objection. And if you guys ever wanted to mod me into a game, you could have just used that objection. <laughs> God is dead. <laughs> Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. 
This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank saw it, saw it to the to the stand. I saw it. Oh, he's got that twitchy shoulder shit. I hate that. Sergeant Sporty is fixed by killed Kylie four weeks ago. <laughs> he responds. You sell newspapers prescriptions. Is this correct? Oh yes, newspapers. Yes. Mr. Sawit, can you, you may proceed with your testimony. It's called spawn camping. Nice, I like that. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witnesses account. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. Dude, the music is a slaps? Yeah, so far so good. Then I saw her lying there, a woman. Not moving, dead. I coiled in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. He spawns the Rocky Mountains and rolls down the peaks. Just, just gotta let him keep rolling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I the time exactly. It was 1 o'clock p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Hmm. D did she die late? All the Catholics would be raging if I said that. <laughs> Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why isn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. Okay. I want to go say in the church now. Do it, Sawyer. I, I, dare, I dare you. And record yourself. <laughs> um. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor. I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. So good. I'm speedrunning going to hell. Nice. I once used a Bible as rolling paper. That's impressive. Electricity to Mr. Mrs. Miss Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Okay, so far we're getting this is roommate packing ASMR stream. Ha ha ha! Thanks, Raxius. Bro, Bible paper is great. I thought it was very plasticky. I don't think God denies weed. I don't think it's ever mentioned in the Bible. Now, Mr. Wright, yes, or yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. No, a real Bible has... Yeah, I thought it was... Yeah, I know it's super thin, but I always thought it was plasticky. Like, I thought it was, like... That wouldn't burn, but rather melt. Kind of, kind of like, feeling to it. Alright, right? This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies, what? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? Yes. Who, who, who trusts a name like ass? Bibles are so shit, I have like four. That's uh, this, 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 is, this, is, this is a weird turn for stream. Something about being unnatural or something, some BS I don't think so. 
How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then once you've found the con uh, contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay. Thank you, Mia. Open the court record with tab and then point out the contradictions in the testimony. Okay, so I have to use tab on this one. It's going door to door, selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing the apartment. I can. Nah, I'm not gonna press yet. I don't play both great for roles. Okay. It's fixed. Do you do the weed? Some evangelists were at my school giving away Bibles once. You ever see the weird Christian comments like saying Jesus is our Lord and Sa or uh, Jesus Jebus is our Savior, Salvation, and Crisp? Whoa. But yeah, I, 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 I have. Let me he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. I can't repress that. Why, why was why was he? This is a violation. What gave you the idea to do that? Well, the door was half open, you see. Isn't only human to want to peek? Don't say that, twisting your shoulders like that's fucking weird. Just, oh, I just do antidepressants with a prescription. Okay, good. We climb mountains because they're, they're there. It's the same thing. Truer words have never been spoken. Anyone would look inside. I did pain cut him off so quickly. So you looked into the apartment. What happened then? I don't know, but I always see Christians showing their faith in comment section. I don't even see think they're bots since they reply. I I'm not gonna go delving into that. I just think if you have faith, you 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 feel free to share it, but don't like force it on people. Hilo Saiton or some shit like that. <laughs> Then I started lying there, a woman not moving, dead. I quailed and frightened and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. Or the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly, it was 1 o'clock. Yeah, this is where this is where this would go, right? You found the body at 1 p.m. You sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. His name is Frank, not Frankly. <laughs> remember my la using my last rolling and realized shit, the, glass sta the gas station is closed. Electron still level thought, well, if God wants to help me, you can help me smoke. <laughs> as, long as, you're, as long as you're doing it respectfully. Like, not just ripping pages out on, on mass and just leaving an empty empty book there. It seems like kind of a waste. Fix, have you got your Gamer Boy holy water yet? You know, one day I'm just gonna, like, make a fire, let it die out, and I'm gonna start selling ashes. But knowing knowing people, it'll probably sell out. <laughs> your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes that the time of death was sometime after 4 p.m. There was nobody to her, no body to find at 1 p.m. Gamer Boy Ash. Would, would, would you guys actually buy it? I'd probably sell it for like five bucks. What the hell has just happened? I love that. My, my, my favorite thing whenever I got like a, a scam call is to answer and I go, Hello, Charlie's Morgue. You stab him, we slap him. Some go to heaven, some go to hello. <laughs> if it is, I'm gonna do a band percent speed run. <laughs> I might just cover a page in one of my Bibles with white on, just <laughs> to cover the page with some monster <laughs> like Princess Bunny Spaghetti Monster. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How do you explain this three hour gap? Oh. Oh, now he's gyrating faster. It's weird. Oh, that it. Oh, we're... This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. 
Just leave it on a bench somewhere near the church. <laughs> if there's testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mis oh, fuck, I actually right click too. Are we so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I er. Well, I. gee. That's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Look at the it's driving faster. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? The time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was... No, it couldn't be up on the TV. It's blackout. But it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Anyways, I'm a proud heathen. Nice. I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. Yeah, that was kind of just fucking stupid. I use the Bible pages to make bloody shaped pages for cryptic stamps. Cryptic stamps? What kind of cryptic stamps? Body heard the time. Voice probably come from television. I guess some victim. Where do I present this? Do I present this here? been watching a video of a taped program. Be able to bury your life in sodium hydroxide. Please fix, don't do that. Leave <laughs> these nuts. So I say the time is probably from the television. I want to say here, because he mentions the television here. Did I get this one right? Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. Now this record proves it. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Gah. Gah. Hydro hydroxic acid. Okay. Mine was at the mine Mine was at the end of the world from an eye, needless to say, we didn't like the teacher. I'm sure my friend made an I go monk ass. Yeah, that or cat girl. Your friend is both impressive and slightly disturbing. <laughs> you think I'm weird? My friend is weird. I have never thought of you as weird. I don't think anybody here is weird. Stop gyrating! It's fucking disturbing me. I well irk. <laughs> Defense is a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Solid? No, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Wait, I remember now. She's so talented at art. I'm, I if ask, tell her that we're like an art-loving community. This is cursed, so it's much time. Okay, doke, so you're, Thank you. With lurk. I'm playing this for loneliness when loneliness is free. I don't know why, but this shit is hilarious to me. Deep in your mama's ass. Mr. Sawat, the court would like to prefer, would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. And that you seem rather distraught. My apologies, Your Honor. It must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sawat. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Hearing the time. I wish I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. You saw a clock, though? I guess I'll explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. The whole family thinks I'm weird, so I'm, I'm so I'm impressed. Always good. 
Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? <coughs> yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. Missing something here? Didn't hear the time I saw it. <clears throat> lurk, I don't want to give anything away, so I'm just gonna lurk. No worries, General. I mean you're 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 you can more you're more than welcome to sit here and talk. Just as long as you know you don't get spoilers, but it's all good. I trust you. Sex word but looking weird in the same chat as me. <laughs> I didn't hear at the time I saw it. Statue in the shape of the thinker. Is there something weird about this? Oh, fuck. Wrong button. The evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in the statement, Your Honor. How exactly are that evidence and the statement now related? They aren't, are they? Hey guys, he saw it. <laughs> Catch. You're on the right track. Not at all. Mr. Wright, please think of the facts before making accusations. I think one... Okay, whatever. I couldn't hear the time I saw it. There's a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? The murder weapon. Maybe it's because... The murder weapon. No, because it's, it's, it says it's not a, it's not a clock, it's a, it's a statue. That's what it is. I think. I think. The music stopped, so, so I hope. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was a statue. Now how is this supposed to be a clock? Ooh, boppy music. You with your objectives and your evidence, just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Solid. I I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, the statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. Just tilt it and it says the time out loud. And it doesn't look like a clock. I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Pain, you useless fuck! I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yes, because it's... And you twist the neck. There's a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Indeed, the witness knew it was a clock because he... Was he one of the sugar daddies? He was one of the sugar daddies, and that's why he, that's why he murdered her. Because she, she found out she was just using him. Tell me, isn't it true that you knew the victim? In fact, you were one of her sugar daddies. Be frank with us, Mr. Solid. Hmm. Frank? I'm always frank. Your Honor, we have a complete record of the victim's relationships. Mr. Frank Solid does not appear anywhere. Oh. Oh, really? Please, Mr. Wright, is Han the best response to you, you can muster up? Try to, refrain, try to refrain from making off-the-cuff accusations in the future. Yes. Your Honor, let me think this over. The witness who was at a clock because he... I guess he went into the apartment? You're lying. You're lying! <laughs> he hit her! Mom! <laughs> Mr. 
You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. <laughs> That's bullshit! <laughs> oh yeah, prove it. Prove it I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck with a clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court. Sure again, please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Saw. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon just spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you're so certain about the time. <clears throat> What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that, that day, I, I never. Look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, I saw. Shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you. He's fucking bald. <laughs> Nuggin? <laughs> It was him. Him, I tell you. I saw him. He, he killed her and he should burn. Burn! Forgive him death. Order. Order in the court, I say. Your Honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor? You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? <laughs> Twitch.tv slash moist nogging? <laughs> Fuck the extra G. <laughs> Don't fuck a G. Unless, unless your G is okay with it. Elohim. Elohim is here to help solve crimes. Okay, this is riding on us. I better think through it carefully. Your Honor. Some Mr. Saw what heard was definitely the clock. A fact which is clear if you simplify, or if you simply try sounding the clock. I think. Let's sound the clock now here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I'll ask the court to ask, or I'll ask the court to, to listen very carefully. Beep. I think it is 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is a thinker after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. So it's three hours off, so I mean, yeah. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely discrepancy between Mr. what Mr. Saw heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Saw, I try to talk your way to this one. Ha! Ha ha! You forgot one thing. Uh oh, what's he do talking about now? Well, it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know it's running three hours slow on the day of the murder? You can't prove that you don't have a case. He's right. How am I supposed to prove that? Damn, I was so close. Mr. Wright. It seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Yes, Your Honor. I cannot let you indict 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 the witness. Indict. <laughs> I 
need to rearrange my fucking test where I keep opening Steam when I go to click on Discord. <laughs> I have emote idea beer beat. Okay, dok. Unfortunately, this ends a cross examination of Mr. Frank Saw. Like, all the way down here to testify and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal. Your lawyers are all slime. I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Saw it. Mia, I mean Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw in, don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. Deus ex machina. Think. Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Out of the clock! Don't waste time about doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three, three hours slow? Check out the reason you'll have your proof. The final. The box. <laughs> final outside of box. Do you think of a reason why the clock would be three hours slow? Have the ev have evidence to prove it somewhere, right? Because <laughs> I did your dad. Ah! <laughs> Find it. And let him have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Tough words. Let's see. You pull this one off. See if this evidence. Proves why the clock was running slow. The only one I don't have is the, I haven't used is this one. Oh, it's because of the um the 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 the, 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 the time zone change. The victim had just returned home from Ra the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. Jet lag save, yes. <laughs> when it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 p.m. the next day. There. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast. The victim had res hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit? Or should I say... Mr. Dead. Ah, fucked. <laughs> oh, put him down. He contracted rabies. Ah, shit. Wow. <laughs> order, order, I say. Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? He, your, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Right, please, a man is dead. Why are you cracking jokes? <laughs> Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time. Are you playing you wouldn't? <laughs> if, if, I, if I could do, like, this smacking both hands on a table and pointing, I fucking would, in real life. At this point, this is only a formality, but... Court finds the defendant, Mr. Mr. Harry Ass, not guilty. Yay! I did it. And with that, this court is adjourned. <coughs> Sorry. Turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. 
Post as a newspaper salesman to check to see when people were out of the house. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sowell let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was in searching her place, the victim returned. The flustered Mr. Sowell grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Oh fuck, she's still dead. It's not just... She spilled a jelly sandwich. August 3rd, 2... 2.32pm. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. I still can't believe we won. Give me a second here. I feel so bad because I just accidentally coughed on my poor cat. I clean him off. Good boy. Imagine still being dead, yeah. <laughs> Amoka's body discovery sound. And Sphinx loses moderation. <laughs> Casually resurrects. Can't st I still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Thanks, Mia. <laughs> Congratulations. I like her scarf. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've, I've seen a trial on, end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the... I'm going to see if I can grab some chips and do it. Make your own if you need to. Um, hold on, my Twitch chat just crashed. Actually, no, I don't need a Twitch chat. I don't need one. I, can, I can see it. Never see the choke, the ch choke chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, fuck, keep fucking right clicking. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you're, 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 you're gonna jump off a bridge? Okay. No, don't don't let your friends jump off bridges. In all seriousness. Wait, no. I mean, bad, 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 bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a uh, nah. Never mind. Congratulations, Harry. It's scanning! Harry. Harry ass. Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry ass. Innocent. <laughs> oh, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this ever. <laughs> Everybody just choose every sound at once. We won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my treat. Oh no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you out of the, off the hook. Oh hey. Here, take this. It's a present. A present for me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Honestly, kinda skilled. Really? You? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chair. And she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you just want to cry? Larry. Are you sure? Ex squeeze me. I got offered. Uh, sorry. Bread and eggs with sausage. Nice. I think she thought of you quite a lot of you in her own way. Now nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Well, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. What the heck is she talking about? I have chosen to starve. It's fix. Please. Please eat. 
God is dead, we killed him while this this deity is speaking to you now, Sphinx. Go fucking eat. <laughs> she cares about you because she's dead now. <laughs> no, I think it's because she kept his gift, I think. But I don't want to Sphinx, go eat. Ooh, Sol, you're a nice one. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive we weren't just some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really? I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. I will think about it. No, you will do it. Right? I hope you see- oh, fucking I keep right clicking. I hope you realize things uh, change depending on how you look at them. People too. We really know what- we never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in, never. But I'm tired of sausages, I had sausage flung. Then just eat uh, bread and egg. I think when work here is done, shall we be off? Yeah. I guess so. Say about dinner on me. We'll drink a toast to that to innocent ass. <laughs> Yay. Oh, well, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Or, yeah, part at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks. Does, does she like us, or is she just being friendly? And so my first trial came to a close. Harry slapped me on the, on the ass and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. <laughs> Thanks, friend. <laughs> so he will eat raw eggs. I mean, I think that's a thing that bodybuilders do, so I guess, sure. I can't stop you, but I can cry. Yes, Vix, don't make Sawyer cry. Because if Sawyer cries, I'm going to start crying, and then it's a whole mess. I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us, unless you count the clock he gave to uh, Mia. I didn't know it then, but the clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. Have I promised to tell the chief about me and Larry? Would be wrong promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Because I'm dead. <laughs> okay, I'll cook the egg. Thank you, Spix. Self-care is best care. I just worry and care. I'm sorry. No, so you, I, I don't think you should be sorry. Because it's good to care about your friends. Lurk egg. Okie doke. The end. Off stream. Okay, good. bye guys. No, I'm just fucking with you. Let's, let's, let's do it the next one. I hate the title already. <laughs> or the... the <laughs> His face is so fucking stupid. <laughs> I got fucking jabated. You got jabated. You got you got jabated. You got jabated. J j j j jabated. J j j j. I'm sorry. <laughs> you dink. <laughs> I was serious, like, fine, are you fucking kidding me? Um, yeah, I, I just... Uh, oh. Bring. Bring. Bring what? What? What is the phone telling me to bring? <laughs> Hello, this is Maya. 
Hey Maya, it's me, Mia. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. And it's been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. Wait, is Mia... Is Mia harboring evidence? I thought evidence was supposed to go to... So unexpected, I can't stop laughing on my stomach. <laughs> Bring these nuts. Love you too, Gumbo. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I got you. So what is it this time? <coughs> Sorry. I, I've been having, like... I've been talking a lot today. I got you. So what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm not only teasing. I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Let me just... Yeah. I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Oh, well, it's not working? That's lame. So she did want a toy. Did the Larry, didn't the Larry guy have two? No, he gave one to his dead girlfriend, his very, very dead girlfriend, and then one to, uh, he gave one to Mia. And I think that's the one... It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. I put some papers inside instead. Papers? Is that evidence then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you go ahead, come by to the office tonight say 9 o'clock to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like... Burger. I could use it really good for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. And the phone swears. Conversation recorded. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Fainco Law Offices. Um, before we go any further, I do have to hit the washroom quickly and restock up on water. I <laughs> gotta say, with a Viking accent, Morgar. <laughs> I really don't know what a Viking accent sounds like. I'm pretty sure I just offended all my Swedish audience. Or Finnish or Russian. I don't know. I'll, I'll be right back.
All right, sorry I'm back. Sorry that took so long. I, I, I had to poop. I had to poop. Anyways, sorry about taking so long. Also, Gumbo filling Soldier in chat. Nice. I, I saw that while I'm on my phone. I was thinking, oh, what should I say? I, I should say Blu-ray. But I was thinking, he's probably going to say Blu-ray these nuts or something like that. No, Miss Faye. I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why? I, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho ho, you're not uh, cognifer cogniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. Blue nuts. <laughs> I should have been more careful. Ho ho. My dear Miss Faye, I'm very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Oh shit, Tawa did it again. Red, white, blue. September 5th, 908 p.m. Fanco Law Offices. Uh oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange, I guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over so we should all go for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia, maybe she's in her office. Okay, examine. I smell blood and that can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia the Chief's okay. Someone's there. Chief? Chief? Chief! Sorry. Who are you? Oh, and she did too. The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief, where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her. I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Lurk gamer moments. Okie dokie, soldier. Thank you for the lurk. Until finally, she was cold. Chief. Okay, so it turns cold then. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this. But if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. So the statue was actually a clock made by Larry Butts. There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm. A piece of paper must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? There's 
a large building right across from the office. They oh. The Gatewater Hotel, a nice luxurious place. It's painful to look, but I have to for Mia's sake. She, she was in the head of the... Okay, so... Some sort of glass were on the schedule on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. The Chief's Chair. A simple functional design feels pretty good to sit in too. A word is written in blood on the scrap piece of paper. Maya. And I have to BRB again. Sorry guys. I, I'll, I'll leave you guys with, with this. Did Mia write this? Sorry, I'm back. I had to get my mom something. As much as my knee's in pain and it hurts to get up and down, I, do, I want to help her out because she's in pain. Back from egg, it was good. Nice. Egg with cheese. Hell yeah. Scrambled eggs, I presume. Unless you just somehow melted like cheddar or something and, uh, on top of a hard boiled egg, which would be kind of impressive, to be honest. Maya, did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store, dated yesterday. I think that's enough stooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. Nah, just egg. Ah, okay. Wait, am I, I am having a stroke. Fanko ledger book. Everything is written in the chief's ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Right, I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Please, please come quick. What was that? Someone's screaming from the window. There's some fried eggs and put bits of cheese on top. Nice. She's staring right at me. She's holding up a phone in her hands. It was Gouda cheese. Nice. All the cheese important documents are packed in here. This is where she files her case records and recent rulings.
Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. But all she used this PC was for, for was email. She picked up this ancient model that's in the garage sale for practically nothing. Unless the chief is like good at saving money. Girl, just now, where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh oh, I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya. Still sad about no chips, but had egg? Well, at least you had something. Not, not, maybe not substantial, but like, at least it was something. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya. So Mia was writing that this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt. Never thought there would be evidence be used for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Before Mia died, she wrote a message in her own blood. Crisps. Sorry, I just choked some water. She wore another respect to this receipt. That's my name. Why? Why would she write my name? Please just calm down. Why would sis write my name? Uh oh. Now I've done it. The police. Whoop whoop! That's the sound of the police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. Oh no. Poor Richard. The police! <laughs> it's Kaka Gumshoe. See? Gumshoe? What an odd name. Because Dick isn't him. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that woman I saw. Actually, I will not make the joke. Uh... Do it. I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya, wait, did she wouldn't have nah. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Excuse me. Eek! This word Maya here mean anything to you. Um, that that's my name. What? Oh fucking why do I keep right clicking? Dick comes you fuck's sake. With Brian Rath she wrote down the killer's name. Killer? I'm not. Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. <laughs> You're not going to say fuck's sake? Well, I can, I, no, I can say fuck's sake of the joke. I didn't say fuck's sake that you said the joke. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. Detention center visitor's room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh. It's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. No, of course not. I'm not an asshole. I don't have my notepad. No. 
Did you like the picture though, that I drew yesterday of uh, final wearing a final wearing a gnome hat though? Also, I, f I found out that there is like a public quote unquote whiteboard space that we can all just like draw things on. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. Really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked like you looked at me like I had done it. Yay! So yeah, I th I, I think when we do the art stream, I'm just gonna make it a public art stream. You know, everybody can come in, everybody can draw. Although I feel like there's gonna be quite a few caucus. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha, so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. My brother has gone somewhere? Hell yeah. So is it just you relaxing alone in the corner of a room or something? The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Wait, did, did Mia set up the murder? I mean, my mom is here. Hi, Sphix's mom. Here, t turn up the volume. Turn up the volume. Let, 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 me, let, let me know. There's a guy on this planet called Richard Sockle. That's so sad. Sphix, turn, Sphix, turn up your volume. I, I will be polite. Give me a second. I'm using headphones. Then give her the headphones. Hola, Mrs. Fix. Streamer abuse. I just want to say hi. It's the polite thing to do. She's she's not. I, I just I just spoke Spanish. I said hola. Oh wait, no, it's hola, señorita Fix. Is that is that right? What's 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 is that? And she's not right here. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, how's it going, Dan? That doesn't look like you want to be found guilty. She's at the living room. Oh, okay. Well, then tell her I said hi. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm alright. How about you? I'm doing all right. Although my leg is com or my knee is completely fucked up. Fuck! I must wash dishes. Uh, have have a have a good time and uh. Say hi, say hi to everybody for me. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, for those who don't know, I, I was helping move stuff around today. Slipped and took a, like a three seater couch straight to the to my bad knee. Hurt like fucking hell. Thankfully, nothing broken, but I, it just hurts to bend. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But. At the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... Oh, never mind. Anyways, Dan, what have you been up to lately? I've seen you been into streaming more. I know. Maya. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this. This is what all Alkalites wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Alkalites? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Never mind, I got scammed. Oh, scammed out of doing dishes? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. I hear the dead. 
a spirit medium, I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. The day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to, import, uh, to a piece of, e of evidence. Excuse me, for an upcoming trial. Evidence. Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. Yeah, I was trying to set up a little bit more proper with my computer, but it's not working. I want to share a few story-based games. What are you- are you using OBS? Because I, I can- I can always try to help you, like, troubleshoot things. I mean, you- you know me, I can, I'm always contacted on Discord. And if you- if you ever want, like, like, support with- from my community, I- Like, you can always just ask, say, hey, like, Fine, can you- can you give me a shout out? And, okay, you know what, actually, no, let's- let's do that now. I'm gonna go put out some fun content today, have a good, wonderful stream final, and you too, Sawyer. Take care, man. I am, I am, hold on, what did you say? I'm mildly annoyed because we had to deal, we had a deal that she would leave me alone as long as I'd come with her to her parents' house. Ah, I see, okay. Anyways, for those who don't know, Shmoovy Dan and I know each other in real life. He's actually quite a nice fella. One hell of a scout. Only him and I will know what that means. That clock is shaped like the thinker, the one that Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear her in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is recorded on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah. I forgot how to delete those things. I'll have to look into a further. He's like eight feet. <laughs> Can't watch stream. Got slapped with a network error. Now she's buffering the void. Oh. Try, try. If, if you're using a like internet browser, just completely shut everything down through Task Manager, and then just reopen it. Usually that works for me, but I mean, if you don't want to go through that, then. Wait, he couldn't. He couldn't hear me. Fix, can you can you just relay the message? Oh no, he's gonna restart the laptop. Never mind. <laughs> Final says you should throw your PC out, motherfucker. Your cell phone. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh right, of course. Like somebody see did. The uh, detective comes you. I'm gonna. I'll ask him for it. That's <laughs> barely advanced enough to be considered a potato. <laughs> I'll write you a note so you don't forget. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Maya's memo added to the court record. A conversation I had with myself. My sister's recorded on my cell phone. Why is the day of the crime? So you're not quite a uh, medium in training. That's right. The Fey family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family? So Mia was into this stuff too. Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers are first class too. I I had no idea. Uh, I, I, I am gay. Therefore I am a father fucker. Oh, uh, Father fuck. And I love that. <coughs> Just get. <laughs> Wait. What? So you're real honest to goodness spirit medium. With ESP and all that. Yes. In training. Well, can't you contact me as spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Sorry, I'm talking too much. I'm just dry throating. I thought that would be too easy. Um, something matter? Um, I was wondering. Could I ask you a favor? 
This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you can go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Wait, why, why can't I do it? You know what I actually do for her. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? They fucking dead. <laughs> I I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at ten. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until four this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Man, I had lore fa flashbacks. What kind of lore flashbacks? Touch you're away with soda. I'm glad you're being legal. <laughs> right, I'll be back. Off for the camera. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. To be fair, I hate the smell of booze. Yeah, no, that's reasonable. It's final, I've never broken the law, I promise. <laughs> Number six, Grossberg Law Offices. According to the all known laws of aviation, I mean, according to the reception, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he would be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Not to mention running an office like this. So I guess I'll just have to come back later. An expensive potted plant. I have no idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid... Wow. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. I would love, like, a large table like this with, like, a, a very fancy chair. Just to, just to do game dev stuff on. That way I could have a large desk for writing out all my notes. A nice, a nice picture over here of my family or whatever. If I ever get there. I thought you were going to say I would love to rob him. Yeah. No. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Funny, they don't look like they've ever been read. The painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oh. Paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. So the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know you. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? Or that ass guy? Yes, I am an ass guy. <laughs> no, Phoenix Wright. 
Oh, fuck. I keep fucking right-clicking. I'm like heavy handing the right-click. I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Right. Sorry about that. That ass guy. He was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Detective Gumtree, Detective Suede Shoes, Detective Gumshoe. Let's be blunt. He, he looks like a nice fellow. He's, he's got a, he's got a, like, looks like a genuine smile. Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on, that's, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. <laughs> hey, Dick, get over here. Oh, uh, now I feel bad for him. Yes, sir. Be right there. Um, ahem. You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Woo, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. The sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Hey, you too, I promise I'm normal. <laughs> Yeah, this this is a VOD that's gonna go up. <laughs> Give me a second, I'm gonna save a, a thing for posterity. And posting this in quotes. I am concerned, as you should be. Mia's favorite pot of plant. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could ever remember. Cordeline Stricta, pal. Who is that? An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I have to check it out one of these days. <laughs> For fuck's sake, yep. And you could for sure do that to me. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. That's sad. There's a horrendous amount of legal books in here. Scary still is but Mia probably read all of these. Alright, let's talk. Mia. Oh, Miss Fate, did you do an upside autopsy? He wants another results, eh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but it doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. Time of death. 9 o'clock p.m. Single blunt force trauma death was instantaneous. I'm about Maya. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal. But this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? Why did the music stop? Why do I hear boss music? The city's, prosecu the city's put prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Just dropping one hint. Oh, okay. And edgy boy? Oh, uh, please don't tell me he's like a dark and brooding character. Edgeworth. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You do know him, don't you? I don't. Never heard of him. Whoa, and you call yourself a lawyer, pal? Well, four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. What am I doing with my life? Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Lamau, no? Oh. Okay. Of course I know him, I'm just plain dumb. He's a cold, heartless machine who'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. The rumors are back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I would never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Catch. Uh, oh, I have to present that note.
I was wondering, did you see my FA cell phone? Oh, that I have that. You could give it back. Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Um... Let's tell him straight. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh no. It's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. That cell phone ho holds all the little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. You're trying to confuse me. <laughs> Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive, you're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. He's already seduced me through Katja. No. Be gay, seduce him. <laughs> He's already seduced me, though. <laughs> He's... Look at this. Like, like he, he looks like... He looks like a man who's, like... He's, he's got like a loose tie. He's casual. He's got two jackets on. He's 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 business casual. And you want to hang out with people like that. Oh wait, one more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on taking talking to that witness. Anyways, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Oh, why do I keep right clicking? Combo always do all your ancestors. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already then? Ha, <laughs> you're trying to do your loyally trick on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial, so she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right now. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Before I go to the Gatewater Hotel, I want to go back to the detention center. Hey. What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. Better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Okay, so it's a conversation she had in the intro, then. Your family. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. Don't know so she could still be alive. The women of family have always been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she'd become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. Maybe I might go to my temporary room. Okie doke. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also. I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, all by yourself up on that mountain. Your mother's enemy. So was this a man who ruined your mother? About 15 years ago. It was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait. They didn't use the spearman medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow. So what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The 
Lisa's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name, my sister told me. White? Hmm. Still not here. September 6, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Well, hello there, handsome. I'm high. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Teehee. I went to self thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's also exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Ooh. Let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross examine this one. <laughs> she looks like she's about to say catch up, ironically. D yeah, I could see that. The light summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Fane Cole Office buildings, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it'd be a little difficult to recognize. Mm. Excuse me, recognize a face from this distance though. Detective Gumshoe more like Detective Gumbo. <laughs> Out of curiosity, how would you guys feel if I like changed my YouTuber hairstyle to be like Phoenix Wrights? <laughs> simple bed. It's been recently made. <laughs> so we're fucked. <laughs> it's been and it's been may uh, been recently made nothing I catching here. Ah, I still seen painting. Well should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. The flowers are fake, as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey. Hey. Oh, what the fuck are those eyes? Ugh. What are you doing? No touching. Ooh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. A booba rage! <laughs> the change would be funny, in my opinion, but not something which would... could honestly say since your current one is really good. Thanks, Rax. I appreciate that. Although it is really hard to draw. I wish I could draw it a lot better. What you witnessed. Do you think you could tell me something? I need to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Observe incident. You sound like just a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big dick vocabulary. What? You better not encourage her. Or er, you know what the thing that occurred um happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell tell me <laughs> tell me about it, pretty please. Big dick shenari. Yeah. All on my neck. Let me see. Um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Miss me. Um, could you just. Who exactly are you? More boss check, thank you. Oh, fuck. Boom. Oh, I can feel the soreness in my, in my forearms from lifting heavy crap all day. 
spends an hour and whatever, or like several hours just like lifting things, and then several hours trying to like go over like a path. It's like, oh, <laughs> these nuts! Thanks for the input. Could you just who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? Yes. No. I'm just here doing my job. You know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, heh <laughs> Right, can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. And you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. This room. I see there are two glasses on the table. Someone's staying here with you. What an amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like noisy little lawyers, hmm. Oh boy. I don't wonder. Cough. Cough. Maybe later. Ball and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. I can't wait for that part in the trial. Oh no. Where the fuck do I go? Did I go back here? Hmm, seems like Mr. Mr. Grossberger's out. Maybe I should just wait for him to come back. Ah, ham. Those are the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I ever heard. Okay. <coughs> there we go. So you're the one that's... You're the one that they say has been looking for me. If you've seen RT's A vid, you'll know. Okay. I, like I said, I've only seen snippets of it. I've tried not to spoil it for myself. Ah, oh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm, that badge on your collar. Ah. So you're, you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes. Well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm, something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Why, do I, why am I getting pinged on Discord? Oh, Ebby's on. Nice. Uh, you came to see... Yeah. Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Yeah, this, this guy is large. <laughs> Marvin D's nuts. <sighs> it's about, actually about Maya, Maya Faye. Ah, yes. Maya Faye. Go on. Why the strange reaction? Ah, cha cha I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on the day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, ahem. Anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? How can you just refuse like that? Please tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm? Eh, ahem. Well, you see, it's just, I'm busy, you see? I'm a comedy god. Anyway, here's Wonder Walk. Wonder, Wonder Whack. <laughs> ahem. Maya trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course I knew that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Creep. Fine. No time to argue with you anyways. I'll go look at else somewhere elsewhere. I think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer with their soul will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? Okay, let's talk some more. 
How did you know Miss Mia Fey? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back at that one. <laughs> Wonder wank. <laughs> But maybe I'm going to be the one that saved me. <laughs> I'm going to try to, th uh, I'm going to throw this cat. She keeps trying to need my dick. Go away. What the fuck? Yeah. My, my cat has a thing for ass. <laughs> that painting. That's quite a painting. Aha. You noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. Elohim likes ass confirmed. Elohim also likes feet. I guess we gotta talk to Mia, I guess. Or Maya. Ayasa. <laughs> Hiya. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well... What do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I... I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. Nice. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help. Erp. I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a, not a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. Someone else is using my simp emote? What? Otif. I guess go and stalk their, uh, their, their channel then? Make sure to say hi. <laughs> a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? No. We help. Because we are good people. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why, well... You aren't the culprits. Someone else is. How do you know? I am. Um, I have a hunch. Given the evidence, it would be easy to assume that Maya was a killer. But there's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. Midora Noya. I'm mean, gonna go always check on them and say, "Hey, thanks for using my emote." The witness's strange behavior was that all an act. In the way, that way, the lawyer refused to help Amaya. More than all that, she has no one left to help her. I think it's more sad or more lonely than that. I know, I've been there a long, long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for people who have no one on their side. What do you think he's gonna do that? Maybe. On well, Ska is using all my cat boy emotes. <laughs> Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. <laughs> well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. Woo, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. That is a really warm smile. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. There's one was inside that strange woman's drawer. Condoms. I mean, a screwdriver. 
I'm gonna try to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. Are we back? It says OPS connected successfully. Hey, yeah, we're back. Awesome. Uh, did roommate zero router? No. Also, General, thank you for the hydrate. Give me a second here. Agua. Uh, thank a lot of us, I guess. Looks like Detecti Detective Gumshoe has gone home. The police are still keeping themselves busy in the chief's office. No one has time to talk to me. I guess I'll head out. His favorite pot of plants. I guess I'll have to water it now. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... I uh, beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment. At your service, sir. Oh, right. I just come up to deliver this room's... C come to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the uh, facilities. If you have no need for of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you need like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. Gah, you came back quick. When I ask you to inform Miss May that there's a message for her, please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Belgian. Oh, right. <laughs> a Belge boy. <laughs> I looked at these nerd schedules and there's no way I'm getting to them. Which schedules? Oh, you mean they're the stream schedules. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? We the fuck streams at 3 p.m. GMT. That's a reasonable time for me. What the fuck? I'm nocturnal. <laughs> Time to look at a condom drawer. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A uh, wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For Maya's sake, I'll get to this woman's bottom. Ass. Oh, bellboy, still there? Uh-oh, time to scram. I look forward to t uh, tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. <coughs> Sorry. In court. To be continued. Probably a good idea, my voice is shot. <laughs> Yes. Alright, and I think I'm gonna call it quits for the stream today. I actually really enjoyed this so far. We've talked we've talked about uh a lot of caca, we've talked about uh cinder block, uh rolling uh joints with with, with paper, with Bible paper. Just uh, enjoying life. And I and I and I really enjoyed this. And I and I th I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to Ace Attorney is a fun. 
I see General Gumbo is fixing Raxus all cocking. And Fix thanks for dropping the Discord link. Everybody uh join the join in the Discord. We're a very welcoming community. Um I hope hopefully tomorrow my voice won't be shot. Uh but we'll, we'll see. And uh Sfix dropped the VOD channel. Uh and I, I really gotta make the the thing soon. It's journey is great, it was so great. It was so great I just can't help but no worries, no worries. Raxus, if you if you ever just wanna like crack jokes like everybody else, feel free to. You don't. You don't have to like stay stifled. Like, I I understand if it's like really tempting to like spoil things, and I try and I trust you not to. But you you can you you don't have to like hide to to stop. You can just crack jokes like when we were talking about cinder blocks and whatnot. But anyways, uh, who do we raid? Um. Noggin's noggin streaming. Let's 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 read noggin. <laughs> you can always kaka. <laughs> when it when in doubt kaka. Anyways, he's playing Jackbox. Uh so let's let's read noggin. I just get a bit too in the habit of lurking sometimes, but thanks for the comment final. I'll try to be more active. I mean, I'm not trying to force you to be active. I'm just saying, like, don't don't be afraid uh, to like speak up if you if you want to like join in the conversation, that kind of thing. Raid message will be. Ah uh, yes, Bob Box. <laughs> All right, fine. Okay, this this let's let's hope he has that BTT. But I'm just gonna try something. Okay, he does have the emote. Okay, no c Cinder Block. Oh no, so yeah, Cinder Block. Actually, no, let's just go bald box. Well, we'll do Cinderblock a different type. Anyways, uh, hope everybody enjoys and uh, take care. <laughs>